Good morning, Mr. Mario. My name is Quentin Jones, and I am with the law firm of J&J &J LLC. We represent the plaintiff in this matter and are going to ask you questions today regarding an incident on October 23, 2018. If you don't understand any of my questions, please don't answer the question. Let me know and we will direct the court reporter seated to your left to read back, or I can rephrase the question to make it clearer for you. If you don't know the answer to a question, you can tell me you don't know, and it is very important that you understand that any answer you give here will be recorded. Please don't guess. Only answer the question I ask, and we will be done shortly. For the record, what is your name? Wally Smith. Where do you work? I work at the Prime Corporation. And what do you do at the Prime Corporation? I am a manager. Okay, now I would just like to direct your attention to October 23, 2018. Do you recall an accident or incident occurring that day? Yes. What were you doing when the accident or incident happened? Driving. You were driving. Okay. And how would you characterize what happened? An accident or incident? Yes, an accident or incident. Oh, I guess an accident. Okay. And prior to the accident, where were you? Driving. No, I mean prior to driving. Let's go back. What time did the accident happen? 12.51 p.m. And what time did you start driving that day? Maybe noon. And when you started driving at noon, where were you leaving from? From my workplace at the Prime Corporation. Okay, and where is that located? 2777 Highland Boulevard. Okay, so you're driving on 2777 Highland Boulevard, and then what? I eventually made a left turn onto Tyson's Lane. Okay, and was that a left turn or a right turn? What? Was that a left turn, a right turn, or something else? It was a right turn. Are you absolutely sure about that? No, I'm not certain. So you're not sure if you made a left turn or a right turn onto Tyson's Lane, but you know you made a turn onto Tyson's Lane. Yes. And after you made a turn onto Tyson's Lane, what happened? Well, I was driving and a man just waddled out in front of me. I didn't have a lot of time to react and let me stop you. Are you 100% sure, as you sit here today, that you left the Prime Corporation at noon and that this accident occurred at almost 1 o'clock? No, I cannot be sure. I don't think I looked at a clock. But, well, yes, I am pretty sure. Can you put a percentage on it? I would say 90% sure. No, actually, I am not sure. I think that I must have left Prime Corporation later that noon. What makes you say that? Well, the distance we are talking that I drove is really small. I don't know if you looked at a map before today, but I couldn't have been driving for 50 minutes. So are you saying that you have a distinct recollection of the accident happening at 12.51 p.m.? Yes, I do. But you don't have a recollection of when you left Prime Corporation? No, I honestly have no idea. Okay. Earlier, I asked you not to guess, and if you could just not guess and let me know right away if you don't know something, that will make today go smoother. Yes. I'm sorry. So, you said something about a man waddling. Yes, when I was driving on Tyson's Lane, a man waddled in front of me. You saw the man enter the crosswalk? Yes, I did. How long was the man in the crosswalk as you were driving? Like a second. Like two seconds. Maybe not even half a second. Not even half a second. The man walked in front of your car? Yes, right when I was driving there, he walked in front. And when the man walked in front of you, were you able to apply your brakes? Yes, yes, I applied the brakes immediately. Did you impact the man? Yes. Did you apply the brakes before impact or after it? Before the impact. I know it was before the impact. How fast were you driving when this impact occurred? I don't know, maybe 10 miles an hour. You sound very unsure right now. Could it have been more? It could have been. Could it have been 15 miles an hour? Yeah, definitely could have been. Could it have been 20 miles an hour? Well, yes, it's possible. Is it possibly more than 25 miles an hour? No, there's no way I was going that fast. What's the speed limit there, do you know? I believe that because of Vision Zero, most of the speed limits are 25 now. I was going under the speed limit. Why were you going under the speed limit at the time of the impact? That's like a little residential, and I am an always a safe and careful driver. So when your vehicle... Did your vehicle make contact with the man? Yes, it did. And that man that your vehicle made contact with, is he the plaintiff in this case? Yeah, he is, yes. 
So what part of your vehicle made contact with what part of the plaintiff? Well, I believe the front hit him in, like, the hip. <laughs>